I'm supposed to be eating before going back to school. Ross, this Indomie was bought by me, prepared by me, and I'm eating it all by myself. Okay, um, let's cut a deal. Let's share, you know? No deal. What planet are you from? Mars. I thought as much. <laughs> but on a more serious note, I'm going to miss you when you're gone. Oh, please. No need to pretend. I know you can't wait for me to leave so you can have this whole house to yourself. In a way, yes, but I'm not going to have anyone to worry. And what are you two talking about? Nothing, just telling us that I'm going to miss it. Oh. Yeah. Ross, now that you are going back to school, I want you to take your books very serious. And I don't want you to go associating yourself with people who will be of negative influence to you. I am saying this is simply because you are going to meet people from different homes with different attitudes, backgrounds and behaviors. Therefore, I want you to be very wise and careful when it comes to making friends. Is that understood? Yes, sir. No. Well, you know this already, but I have to remind you. I don't want you to involve yourself in any deviant behavior, else... You will be disappointed in me and would not spare me. Who do you remember? Always have it in mind. No, you don't have to worry. I promise to be a good boy, even out of your sight, just so you can be proud of me. That's my boy, that's why I love you. Linda, I know you to be a very clever student, but your report card is not reflecting that at all. What happened? Uh, Dad, remember last time you didn't pay my fees on time, and then I had to miss various class lessons. That's how badly it has reflected in my report card. I'm very sorry about that, okay? You know, that time your mother needed some money for her business, so I had to give it to her. Hmm? But this time I'll make sure I pay your school fees on time, okay? Okay, I hope so. The teachers considered me and I'm in JHS too. I don't want them to feel me. I, I won't write my, my B.C. Don't worry. I'll sort that out for you. Okay. Dad, you called. Oh yeah. Have a seat. That mother of yours does not value education at all. 
Can you imagine what she told me? She said you have to wait for the next academic year before you start your secondary school education. Impossible. All because there is no means. She only wants you to help her in that unprofitable business of hers. That's the fish business that she claims to be doing. Dad, you know education is not a race. Mm. Let me tell you, that grandfather of yours who said education is not a race, it's a fool! Read what is written. Life and everything it entails is a race. Run as fast as you can, but on a steady pace. Just make sure you don't fall, else everyone shall pass you by and you shall be last. In everything you do, just make sure you are not last, else you are played to be used to serve another man's feast. Thank you. Now you understand exactly what I am saying. Now tell me, if you are the last to attend the class in case of academics, how will you feel? God forbid it. Mm -hmm. God forbid it. Now tell me, if you are the last person or last student to attend parade, how will you feel? Though everyone will be staring at you, aside that you'll be punished. That's good. Now you see it. Being late comes with punishment. Do you know how I feel? When I see my friends, even my mates that I taught in school, riding in luxurious cars, once hi Kofi, Mr. Kofi, walk down the station to board Trotro. All because there is no money for me to further my education. Dad, it's alright. Thank you very much, Dad, for all that you've done for me. I really appreciate it. That's my daughter. You have to be focused in life. You have to be determined because whatever you do today, it determines what you will be tomorrow. Be very careful. You are going to school now. You are about to mingle with the outside world. Monica, time is running fast and it waits for no man. My strictness is for your own good. I hope so, Ross. Um, Dad, I forgot to tell you. We were asked to get some books. Have you not part of the list of books you gave me three days ago? No, uh, these ones were actually recommended to us by our teachers. These teachers? They recommend additional books which you don't even learn. What is all this? Anyway, um, tomorrow morning I'll be at the bank. And from there I would make a brief stopover in your school and get you the money. By the way, how much is it? Uh, 450 Ghana cities there. Okay, I'll give it to you tomorrow. Yes. Daddy. I also need a new pair of shoes. But Tracy, the ones you have are still in good shape. They don't oh, yeah. fit anymore and it hurts my toes. I'll develop corns if I continue to wear them. Tracy, so just because Ross asks of something. Mm -hmm. Hey! Anyway, Tracy, I'll get you a new pair of shoes oh, tomorrow. No. Darling, Ross, you're getting late. Yes, Ross, we better get going. Atu! Atu! Is the car ready? All right, get in. Let, let's go. Hello, Mom. I'm fine, Mom. 
But mom, you promised. She left him in the hands of that houseboy and that, that reckless driver. What do you want me to do? Okay, mom. You promise? Okay. I love you too. Bye. Right now, oh, go open a gate. Hmm? No, I'm not so much. What school bag is that? Well, it's just a matter of time before my books start falling out and I think the earlier I get a new one, the better. Look, your uh, 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 young lady, a moment ago you were complaining about your school fees. Now it's your school bag. In fact, I don't have money for any school bag, do you hear me? Anytime I ask for something, you get angry and complain. Tracy doesn't face such problem at all. Her parents will always provide her with whatever she needs. Yes. How dare you compare me to someone's parents? That should be the first and last you ever do that. Do you hear me? Foolish girl. Hey, foolish girl by me. Can't you hear me? Ah. Why can't you hear me? Ah. And you, I've told you to stop speaking that language. Speak English. If me, not telling English again in this. What is you can do? Clear our waters. If your father not buying the back, I'm buying it for you. Okay. okay. And why are you getting the money to buy your Is it matter? <laughs> oh, but you even have a business. Me Sunny. Why don't you buy it for her? After all, she's also your daughter. Nonsense. you proud by studying hard and passing my exams to the university so that I become that person you want me to become. Get inside and dress up so that I can take you to school. 
I don't want you to be late. Thank you, Dad. That's mother of yours. Hmm. Charmingly shallow, delightfully useless. Anthony, come. Uh, yes, what is it? I, I guess it's more than they cry, they shout for inside. Why should they cry? Uh huh. What do you want to know? Anthony, answer my question. I said, why do you want to know? Ah, Anthony, uh, Madame left a uh, small Madame in my care in this house, and she's inside there shouting like a madwoman. I ask him why do I want to know? What do you mean by that? Answer my question. Okay. So one mother is crying because her mom refused to take her to school. Is that why you're also like this? Yeah, because I don't want to see her in that mood. I swear to God, it'd be today we are not saying you that small mother full power for this house. What? Oh? Are you aware that you are insulting us? Eh? Who are you? The time when me are they young, my father don't know the way to my school self. Let alone talk sick or carry me to go to school. Every day I'd walk like a thousand kilograms from my house to the school. Every day, in and out. Anthony, Jeez. every day in I've been correcting you in this house. It's not thousand kilograms. It's thousand kilometers. At the same thing. Listen, Abu. Let me warn you. We are in here for something, as you know. So please, I'm begging you. Let's concentrate on our work. Okay? Please. Anthony, come. Anthony, come. I don't want you for this house. If you are here to work, go and work. Me and small madam, we are both sisters. And I'm in my mother's house. So if you want to work, go and work. You, sisters. Gentlemen, come here. Why are you not in the dining hall? Listen, for all you know, I might be doing some hungry students the fever. I'm just saving myself the trouble of having stomach upset. Besides, I don't eat such foods at home. Wow. Hey, I'm Tracy. She's Linda. That's Sheridan. And he's Greg. I'm Greg. You can call me Gregory. Nice meeting you. I'm the freshest boy on campus. Yeah, right. Seriously, what was he thinking? That is cheap outfit. I mean, those rags that he was wearing. Which are me, Wendy, or what? <laughs> LOL. He might be crazy. Gosh. And which class is this guy, anyways? A great cup. Ow, ow. Oh, oh, oh. This is a great Let's put our eyes on Our Heavenly Father, I thank you. Amen. I pray, put him with joy into thy care. Father God, everything she has asked of you, Amen. you deliver it unto her in Jesus' name. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I'm really gonna have some fun. I'ma show you how I get things done. Don't joke, I'ma hit and run. Cause I'm the latest man. Trust me to get my way. Cause I ain't gonna change. Cause I ain't gonna change. I'm standing watching my air flash right before my eyes. But I cannot see it. Cause the very bees enjoying life. I'll always be the same. Nothing for me to change. Nothing for me to change. I'm falling so hard, this thing has got me thinking Damn, I should have turned around I gotta slow down, this life has got me sinking Mmm, -hmm. let me leave this game over 